Hey guys, welcome to my channel, it's Carolyn, and today's video is going to be a zodiac reading for your career. And the way that I do my zodiac readings is that these are timeless readings, so whenever you find them is when it's meant for you. Since today's reading is focused on your career, you can pick either your sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, or seventh house zodiac sign. So whichever one of those zodiacs resonates for you, I would go ahead and watch that. I'm gonna have all the zodiacs uploaded on my YouTube page. Sometimes you have multiple different messages that are meant for you, so I would recommend and checking them all out. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I upload four videos a week and would love to have you a part of the family, so hit subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, let's jump right ahead and get into the cancer reading. So I feel like with your career, things are going to be quieting down. I feel like recently they have been a little bit intense, you've been gaining a lot more power. I feel like some of you have recently um, gotten promoted or changed jobs or something of those sorts. And now I feel like things are slowing down a bit. You're not going to be in the public as much. I feel like you might be doing more things from home or you're going to be staying to your office. You're not really going to be going out and about. And I don't feel like you're going to have to communicate with too many other people. I think you're seeing things in a new perspective because things aren't as quick moving anymore. I feel like you're unburdening yourself and I think you're having time to relax and to slow down and to think about what you're doing. I feel like those of you who have your own business, there's going to be a slowdown in the demand for your service. And so I feel like it's really Really important for you guys to stay on top of that to save your money don't overspend and really watch your finances until things pick up again I feel like things are coming into balance and I feel like you are realizing how much power you have whether you are someone's boss and so you have power and influence over them or you're someone who works with a bunch of other people be very aware of what you say and what you do watch your actions because they are going to have consequences and I feel like right now you are in a point where you are able to manifest a lot of what you want but you have to be very careful with what you think because I I feel like you might have good intentions, but your delivery may end up being the opposite of what you want because you were not thinking things through. Don't be too short-sighted, otherwise that's gonna lead to regret. And I feel like with your career, I feel like you have to accept where you are and make peace with it and then contemplate what you want to do. I feel like for the longest time, you were just in the motion of going and moving forward and running. And now that you're slowing down, you're able to sit and think. And I feel like some of you guys need to decide if this is what you actually want to do. Are you happy? And if you're not happy, what do you you need to do to make yourselves happy. I don't really feel like too many of you are going to be leaving and moving on to a new job completely. It really just feels like you need to work out some kinks with your current job. I feel like you like what you do, but there might be some conflict internally that you have to work through. And I feel like a lot of this is the ability to not let go of things. I feel like you really hold on to them. And I feel like some of you guys are going to have issues when it comes to your career because you are holding on to the past and you're not moving to the future anymore. It's like now you work so hard to get where you are and now you you finally have this downtime and you're not actually being productive with it you're just reflecting on the past and you're in your head too much because now you don't have anything to consume your mind and so it really feels like this slowdown is meant for you to heal work things out so that you find solutions so you don't repeat past mistakes otherwise if you keep trying to run ahead and you don't take this time to reflect and to slow down you're gonna have those same mistakes show up again and you're not gonna learn anything from them it's all about adapting and growing now with your career I feel like you have the tools you need now you just need to implement them and then your career is going to keep moving forward with it and then once you take this time to actually adapt to grow to learn whatever you need to learn things are going to start to pick up again but right now things are definitely slowing down so that you can unburden yourself and you can get a new perspective and you can grow and evolve with your career and I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of karma when it comes to your career so make sure that every choice you make everything you do with your career is in alignment with yourself and your morals if you do something that does not feel right or gives your intuition a bad vibe don't do it don't risk it because that's going to end up coming back to you in the future and it's going to have a consequence and if it's something that's not good you don't want to have negative consequences and negative karma following you because that's going to destroy whatever you're working towards you want to make sure that everything you're doing is true and authentic to yourself and that you're not doing anything that you're going to regret it so definitely be cautious of your actions and what you're doing with work and that's why you have that contemplate card because you have to be very deliberate 
it with what you're doing with your career right now. This isn't the time to take risk and be impulsive and let your anger and emotions get the best of you. It's time to be very methodical, think things through, and do what feels right for you. So I hope this resonates for you. If it did, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with others. I post four videos a week and I would love to have you a part of this family, so hit subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next Zodiac video. I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.